We do have some storms just off to the north. Thankfully, nothing really here in North Texas that is helping us out. But I'm still tracking these storms that are making their way out of Oklahoma, causing some of aerial flood advisories up just above the state line. But I'm tracking one storm to the southeast of Marietta right now, pushing its way southeast at 30 miles per hour. It is going to be near Cedar Mills right around 1047, Whitesboro right around 1055. This storm was severe now, dropping below severe limits, but maybe some small hail, maybe winds gusting up to near 50 miles per hour possible as it continues to track its way down towards the south and the east. Widening out the view just a bit more, the future sky forecast shows the complex of storms again just brushing our Red River counties up near Paris as we go through the next few hours. And this forecast model has had a pretty good handle on the storms as we've gone through the day today. Man, did you have a handle on maybe some iced tea or something like that to cool down? Because it was a warm one. 95 our official high today at DFW. The average high should be 94. So Early July, this is about what we're supposed to have. Our record high was 110. Now, right now, taking a live look outside from our Dallas Sky Cam and bumping back and forth, 90 in Dallas, feeling a little bit warmer than that. We're at 85 in Keller, 83 in Denton, to 86 in Duncanville, and 82 in Mesquite. And on the wide view across North Texas, not a lot of cover, not a lot of cloud cover, a little bit more off towards our north and east. Sherman's slightly cooler, maybe a little bit of rain cool there starting to work its way on in. We're at 82 in Mineral Wells to 85 right now in Athens. So it's a warm night all across North Texas. I Talked about that future sky forecast and going through the overnight hours, the far northeast county still seeing some of that rain working through. And then going into tomorrow morning, a mix of sun and clouds greeting you, and it's going to be warm. So, as we do take a look, temperatures warm their way on up into the mid 90s in the afternoon hours with rain chances at 20%. But then we have to factor in the humidity and into the afternoon hours, possibly right around 3 o'clock, feeling like 105. Just really pay attention to that. Stay hydrated. A lot of water for tomorrow afternoon. I know it's time to get outside the pool and maybe sell. Celebrate with your friends just a bit. Just try to have a whole lot of water. And then we're going to be seeing maybe tomorrow night another complex of storms out in Oklahoma work its way down towards the south and the east. Maybe a little bit more activity also in our northeast counties. And that's the chance as we go through the week ahead. 20% rain chances Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, then dropping to about 10% as we round out the week and go into the weekend. What's the reason? Well, we have a big area of high pressure in the upper levels, and you can see general northwest flow holding together for us. So any storms that develop off towards our north and west will work their way down here closer towards Texas and then just start to wind their way on out. So not a washout for your holiday. 96 on the 4th of July, 96 Wednesday. And as those rain chances go down, our high temperatures go up. Next Saturday, 99 for my forecast high, Dan. Here